welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Selena Zinchuk as you guys can already tell from the title in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys my nine vitamins that I take for my hair growth also for my overall health I don't want this video to be too long because these are nine different vitamins so I'm just going to jump right into the video our number one vitamin we will be talking about today is iron now I am iron deficient, which is also known as anemia, I am anemic. So I have to take iron to be able to balance my red blood cell. Now, if you don't know, iron is also very, very important for our hair growth. That's why I just tell God, thank you, because I am iron deficient. I'm still able to keep my hair and grow my hair. But my doctor put me on iron because they saw how low my iron was. So I have to make sure that I take this daily without skipping it. Sometimes I do forget, but for the past two months, I've been very, very consistent with my iron. Iron contributes to hemoglobin production, which helps deliver nutrients and oxygen to our hair follicles. Without iron, our hair wouldn't grow, causing thinner hair. So to avoid that, I make sure that I take my iron pills daily. Now, all of these vitamins that I'm going to show you guys, I make sure that I take them after breakfast because I notice when I take vitamins on empty stomach, it causes nauseous. And normally, they will always tell you to take it with meal. So just make sure you follow that direction. And I forgot something. Just a little disclaimer here. I'm not a medical doctor by any means, but this is something which was recommended by my doctor. And also with my research, I noticed that I need these vitamins to also help with my hair. If you don't know, I was diagnosed with traction alopecia and alopecia areata in 2016, and I lost all my hair. But by the grace of God, with my DIYs and consistency prayers, I was able to regrow my hair back. Now, for me to be able to keep my hair, I am making sure that I am doing all the right things. I am staying away from all chemicals and heat. So just make sure you consult with your um, doctor first before getting on any pills. Now, our next vitamin that I take, I'm going to talk about vitamin D3. Now, research also shows that a lack of vitamin D in your body can also lead to hair loss. One important role that vitamin D plays in our hair is restoring old and new hair follicles. If you don't have enough vitamin D in your system, your new hair wouldn't grow. So this is really, really important. As you guys know, our hair goes through various cycles. So if you don't have enough vitamin D, your hair will probably just stay in a resting place. And we don't want that. Now, the third vitamin I'm going to talk about today is zinc. Now, deficiency in zinc is also similar to iron when it comes to hair loss. So, it is important that you also look into taking zinc if you're having hair loss issues. And the bad part is that zinc, if you are deficient in zinc, it also damages the remaining hair that is there. So, for example, if this whole part of your hair is full and you just have thinning in certain areas, if you are deficient in zinc, it will also start to damage the healthy hair follicles that is there. So I find it to be very important for me to take it. Now, our fourth vitamin we are going to talk about today is the all good biotin. This biotin. For hair growth it is very very popular if you don't know just google it but i don't want to take it within my hair growth vitamins and yes i have joined you guys i'm also out of this i'm going to make sure we get it back in stock very soon i'm going to try my best but this is my hair skin and nose this is my hair skin and nails biotin why i love taking this because it have 5,000 milligrams of biotin in it, which is enough for my healthy hair, healthy skin, and healthy nails. Biotin is also known as B7. It is also a B complex vitamin. Biotin creates red blood cells, which carry oxygen and nutrients into our scalp and our hair follicles. 
So we need those nutrients and oxygen for us to be able to maintain healthy hair follicles and healthy hair. The next vitamin I'm going to talk about is magnesium. Magnesium plays a vital role in growing new hair. It also protects the hair that we already have. It is also a natural anti-stress mineral which is essential for our hair growth because when we are stressed, we tend to lose our hair. Magnesium also reduces DHT level. If you don't know what DHT is, this is another assignment for you to Google it. But it is a hormone which is responsible for our hair loss issues. So pick yourself up some magnesium. The wonderful potassium, it helps to stimulate dormant hair follicles. Now, this is really, really great. Anyone who's now suffering from thinning edges, suffering from bald patches, your follicles is dormant. If you are not careful all the tight, tight hairstyles that you are using, all the chemicals and so, you are damaging your hair follicles. And when it becomes dormant, there is no hair that's gonna grow from out of it. But it shows that using potassium, it also helps to wake up those dormant hair follicles and make them to grow longer, stronger, faster, and thicker. Our next vitamin we are going to look at today is vitamin B1. Vitamin B1 is also known as thymine. It is also part of the B vitamins. Vitamin B1 also helps to improve healthy hair growth. It helps to reduce our hair shedding. and give us overall healthy hair. Vitamin C creates the protein collagen. It also improves hair growth and reduces hair loss. If you are deficient in vitamin C, it also leads to split ends and dry and brittle hair. The last vitamin that I take is omega 3, 6, and 9. It also supports our heart health and also cardiovascular health. Okay, family, so these are my top nine vitamins that I take for my hair, for my overall health, and also for beautiful skin, beautiful nails, healthy hair, longer hair. If you are by any means suffering from any type of hair loss, I will first recommend that you see your doctor to run some blood tests and then let them tell you exactly what vitamins you are deficient in, and I would recommend that you highly, highly follow their directions, get your vitamins, and start taking them. Now, I take my vitamins after my breakfast. Again, I don't take it on empty stomach, and I'm gonna stick to doing this. We don't get younger, we get older, so we need to make sure that we are taking care of our health and taking care of ourselves. Make sure you eat good, drink a lot of water, take your vitamins, eat healthy, and pray, 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 because prayers do, do wonders. If you want to keep spending more time with me, I will leave one video up here in the card for you. I will either leave my rosemary spray video or my Ayurvedic herb video. That video is also very important for healthy hair and also dry scalp if you're suffering from alopecia. I will leave that video up in the card for you and always remember to put a smile on someone's face because you really don't know what they are going through in life. I love you guys and thank you so much for spending some time with me.